festivals in America, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Woodstock. <laughs> We've had others. I want you to all picture, you all to picture this song happening at Woodstock, and not the second one where Rage Against the Machine played and they burnt down all the coke bands. The first Woodstock. I met a pretty girl at a festival with a bag of MDMA We both took a great big dab and went to greet the day Now I warn you, this shit tastes foul when you put it in your gob But try to swallow all of it, it'll knock your fucking socks off So the two of us were wired and the festival's in flow We wandered round and watched some bands smiling as we go As the day turns into night time a fire's being lit We dance to an unknown DJ And sneak a little kiss Well being drunk can make a girl Seem prettier than she is I'm not the only one who's made mistakes When I was pissed And trying to work out right from wrong On ecstasy is tough But it's MDM amazing I feel like I own love Would you believe it? I've forgotten the second verse. <laughs> to make it even worse, back home, this is by far my most popular song. Um, I've played it so many times it hurts. And uh, in fact, I don't really want, to, want to sing you the second verse, I want to sing you the sequel to this song. Because of this song being so popular, it meant I got to travel around the country singing songs about recreational drug use to a lot of different people. <laughs> And that took me, it took me to a town called Bedford, which is a satellite town from London, and I'll be straight with you, it's a shit old town. And uh, it was two o'clock in the afternoon, well, not, maybe not two o'clock, let's say four o'clock in the afternoon, I hadn't even done a sound check or anything, and I met a 17 year old kid who was off his head, his like, eyes were rolling and he was gurning and all this shit on a Tuesday, and he said, I really love your music. I really love your music, man. <laughs> and he, so he told me that it was, my music inspired him to start taking drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Which was well harsh thing to hear. Um, so I didn't really know what to do. So I wrote a counteractive song <laughs> to try and balance out my karma a little bit. So this is my anti-drug song. It's called The Children of Bedford. But there's a time and a place for everything. There's a time to be quiet, a time to sing. There's a time to get drunk, a time to stay sober. There's probably time to work out. Everything will kill you. And sometimes if you laugh too much, it's going to make you cry. Are you really, really happy if you're always really high? Everything in moderation and one thing at a time. Cause it's never been a secret what the drugs do to your mind And just cause I've got a song about MDMA But that don't mean that I think you should take it every day I'm glad that the children of Bedford like my songs I hope they don't interpret them wrong And start doing it for the thrill Forgetting about the fun And end up getting lost in a dangerous world of drugs well, I was 15 years old when I started smoking weed. 750 for a tenth of ash from Andrew Chinnery. We'd all go down the steps at the park. That's where I learned to skin up. And then I started building lungs and pumps at lunchtime at school, using plastic bottles and carrier bags and squares and tin foil. I used to love the way it made me think and feel and giggle. I never felt no peer pressure. I did it because I wanted to. And soft drugs <laughs> lead to hard drugs. I guess that might be true. Because a year or so later, I was on speed too. We'd go around Craig's brother's house every Friday night, chipping for a gram and talking till the sunrise. I never forget the taste of my first day. It was plain and fucking simple, why they called it ecstasy. A nimble in the bud and a tingle in the spine. The feeling of euphoria, it happened every time But just cause I've got a song about MDMA That to mean that I think you should take it every day I'm glad the children of Bedford like my songs I hope they don't interpret them wrong And start doing it for the thrill Forget about the fun and end up getting lost In a dangerous world of drugs 
Then the days turn into mums and the seasons start to change. Now I'm squeezed into the toilet for a line of cocaine. A quick, quick reaction and a blind confidence. It's addictive and expensive, but I couldn't give a toss. I was wonky off the ketamine, confused by the acid. The moral of the story, though, is knowing when to crack it. Know what you can handle, know when you should stop. And don't take folk singers as role models. And just because I've got a song about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good line. <laughs> Time to get line. Let's have a clap for the guitar. Woo! A clap for the song. Woo! I know I'm working it hard, guys, but I have come a long way and I'm going <laughs> to wait for a lot of hours.